Nothing is more frustrating than getting in your car in the morning and there is a layer of fog on the inside of your windshield. The Adams Polish's anti-fog will solve that issue of fog on the inside of your windshield. The anti-fog flattens out the condensation on the surface, giving you clarity to see through your windshield. Now, anti-fog is going to work on numerous surfaces, such as obviously the glass on your car, but your sunglasses, any sort of glasses for that matter, goggles or mirrors in your home. The application process for the anti-fog is extremely simple, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, I'm now gonna show you a step-by-step -step application of the anti-fog. Uh, we put a tape line here down the middle of the windshield so you can see the side that is untreated and then the side that I'm going to apply the anti-fog. So, the things you need for this is a green glass towel, a microfiber applicator, and the anti-fog. Now, first things first, we're going to put some of the anti-fog onto the applicator. So I like to put it you know, in the middle, but I also like to put it on the edges as well. That just allows me to fit it into all the corners and kind of the edges here of the windshield. So put some of that on there. We'll set the anti-fog aside. And now what we do, we don't even need to clean the inside of the windshield. The anti-fog actually does a lot of that for us. So I'm gonna take this and what I like to do first is outline the area that I'm treating first. And again, I put a lot of the anti-fog on this edge here. So I'm using that to butt up against these corners for maximum coverage of the anti-fog. And then what we're gonna do is work this in. I'd say it's sort of a similar application feel to the glass sealant. As always, it's recommended to do the cross hatch. So I outlined, went up and down, then went side to side. And now what I wanna do is let this cure. So I wanna let this dry onto the surface, almost like flash, not as much like brewing glaze, but still you want this to sort of dry and cure on the surface. Um, and you let that do that for a couple minutes. Um, in a drier climate, you know, two minutes is probably good. In a more uh, humid environment, I'd probably give it five minutes. Um, but we want that anti-fog to kind of settle in onto the surface. So one note is Kane's car actually has tent on the windshield. Um, so just understand that the anti-fog is totally safe on tinted glass. Okay, so the anti-fog has cured onto the surface here. Now, lastly, what you wanna do is you wanna take your green glass towel. Uh, I highly recommend using the finishing side. So the, the green glass towel has two sides to it. I highly, highly recommend you use the finishing side. That's kind of the woven side, okay? Uh, and the anti-fog takes a couple wipes. So you'll see, we'll, we'll start to wipe it down and it sort of feels like you're spreading it around a little bit. That's just the, the anti-fog uh, solution that's on there. So I like to do kind of an initial wipe. Sort of leaves a residue behind and that's okay. That's the, that's the residue from the anti-fog working. Um, so it just takes, you know, maybe two or three wipes. Um, one tip for getting into the corners is take your glass towel and fold it corner to corner like this to make a triangle. So once you have the triangle, then you can take it, you wrap it around your hand like so. So you put kind of the corner part on the top of your hand and then you wrap this around. So now you have sort of like a glove, I would call it. And you can shove this down into the corners and really get into these areas that are sometimes hard to get when you're wiping your glass down. Now I will tell you this, that when you're wiping this off, it is much easier to see if you've gotten all the residue, if you have a light on the other side of you. So if you're doing this in your garage, make sure to have the light on and you can really see the residue that's on here. I have confirmation from my guy, Chris, behind the camera that we are all clear. So what we'll do now is we'll take this tape off and you can really see a 50-50 of the effectiveness of the anti-fog. This driver's side, we did not treat. 
so you can really see how much that fogs up. And then as we come over to the passenger side on the area we treated, you can see the effectiveness of the anti-fog on the passenger side. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that <clears throat> there might be areas where it doesn't go on perfectly even, but I think the effectiveness of this is incredible. I mean, my, my clarity of vision is, is great. Um, you know, if you feel like you need to, maybe you catch some uh, condensation on the inside of your windshield, you come out one morning, one thing you can do is you can apply another layer of the anti-fog to give it the maximum effectiveness. Now, I recommend that you give the anti-fog ample time to cure on the surface before condensation is introduced. So I don't recommend doing this at night, okay? The air cools down at night and then the condensation from inside of your car is what creates the fogginess on the windshield. I recommend doing this more in the morning or afternoon so then it gives the anti-fog extra time to cure on the surface, which will maximize its effectiveness. Pairing anti-fog with glass sealant is the ultimate clarity solution to your glass. Putting anti-fog on the inside of your windshield, but also the glass sealant on the outside of your windshield, it will provide absolute clarity in any situation. Adams Polish's anti-fog is just another element to providing the ultimate clarity for your driving experience.